Okay, this is a hearth broom and I flattened it down with a vise and I'm going to stitch it up. So, on a, I have some, actually this is wax linen, uh, but any strong hemp, uh, I like something that's waxed because I think it grabs it tighter, but that's just me. You don't have to have that. Uh, what I'm going to do is do a lark's head. Let me show you that again. A lark's head. Okay. And then uh, you do you need to do two to three rows of stitching. And usually I just do two. So you do want to be about uh, a hand's width down because you don't want to be hitting that uh, broom handle that's still inside there. So I'm going to go around twice. You can go around three times if you want. And then I'm going to put it through that lark's head loop that I made and tighten it up. And I want to start stitching on the side. So I'm going to kind of jerk it over here and get it where I want it. Now that's a little flared out for me. I don't like it that much, but it's okay for this right here. So I'll stitch down this row and then I'll let that loose and realign it some. Okay, so this is a broom bodkin or broom needle. So I'm going to thread it down through the hole and I'm going to start by coming down and I don't know if I can explain this as I go or not. So I'm going to go in so that it's like a straight stitch and then add an angle inside the broom corn and bring it back out this way. And I do about, I don't know, a fourth to a half inch stitches. So once again, I stick it in so that it's right across from there on the stitch and then come up and place it in the front. And these are what broom vices were used for, but it works just as fine with a handmade vise. So, bring it up, pull it tight, straight down across it, and then look where I want to place it in the front. And once again, pull it tight. You've got two strings there, and sometimes one will get ahead of the other one. So you need to make sure that they're both tight. Straight across, and then I'm looking to see where I want that one there. So it's kind of at a diagonal on the inside of the room where you don't see it. And you can use hemp string for this. Um, see now that uh, both of them aren't at the same. Um, one slipped. So then I'll tighten that broom up or broom thread up again. Okay, so I'm just going to do one row of this. I would recommend that you do uh, two to three. And like I said, I usually just do two. But three is good too. And when we get this um, flattened down here, and it was the shakers that took the round broom, which is how brooms were originally made, and flattened them out. And made them more practical with more surface on the floor. So I'm going to stop for just a second here and get my two strings on the same length. more stitches here and I'll show you how to finish it off. So I'm just gonna, yeah I think I'll do one more here. So the way you finish this off 
is you go diagonally through the broom wherever, pull it through, pull it tight, and then cut it off. And that's all there is to it. So, and then I'll do another row down here. And like I said, I don't like how that's flaring out, so that I'll loosen that vise up again and get it the way I want it. But that's how you sew on a broom, guys.